what's going on everyone jeremy here from the quartering i'm having a wonderful day i know i'm having a mediocre monday but i'm glad you're here i'm glad you're all responding to my uh request to click that red subscribe button down below i know it's a pain but it's really making a positive uh, impact on whether or not my videos are getting shown in the search results so i thank you i just want to say thank you if the button the button is red please click it and uh subscribe today now this is probably the end cap of the G4 TV drama. You've kind of told me it's getting a little sour, and I wasn't going to cover it today until a epic own happened um, uh, on G4 TV, and they continue to lose subscribers. And there's a brand new rumor that their bosses have sent out some sort of communication or uh, indication that they're not happy with uh their employees antagonizing their viewers and it's an interesting little uh, uh spicy bit for you this and more after a quick word from this video sponsor private internet access huge shout out to this video sponsor private internet access hey october is Cybersecurity month and they've got an amazing offer for you it's 2021 if you don't have a vpn yet there are several reasons why you want to sign up today one, you can browse anonymously. Keep your browsing habits to yourself. You can keep your data away from big tech so that they can't resell it. And you can access region lock content so you can open up a whole new catalog of online content to enjoy, whether it's anime or movies that might not be available in your area. You can get at it using a VPN. And the VPN I use on my phone, my tablets, my PCs, and my laptops is private internet access. And they've given an amazing offer. It's just $1.98 a month with four months free with a three-year subscription. If you haven't signed up today, use my link in the description or pinned comment down below to get private internet access today. So if you haven't picked up a VPN yet, today would be a great day. Let's check in. How things are going for G4 TV. Now, they are furiously deleting comments on their videos. And look, I get it. Uh, when you have a small channel like G4 does, it's so small. Um, you know, you get like 500 comments dunking on you. It's just not productive. This is why a lot of people end up just disabling comment sections. That's the final white flag. I don't like... You know, I understand people want to voice their opinions, and I'm never going to tell them not to, especially when they're about a corporation. Uh, I don't think I'm going to, uh, you know, shed any tears over a corporation getting dunked on. But, you know, um, it does, if it's not productive and it's just kind of ferocious, you know, I don't know how. I get why people do it, but I'm not sure it's helpful. It's funny, though. Kind of funny. Um, you see a lot of these comments... You know, part of the reason they don't get any views, views is because they're pumping out review content on video games that are a billion years old and no one cares about anymore. Uh, on top of that, the video game news industry right now is pretty weak sauce. I mean, it's so weak that I decided to raid some storage lockers and uh, get some uh, Neo Geo. These are MVS games. I do have some AES games over there, but I'm more excited to play those than, well, I suppose Elder Ring's pretty exciting. But anyway... News has been pretty scant lately, and, and maybe this is just a typical drought because all the video game news kind of gets pushed out before the Christmas season, um, but there's not a lot to talk about, and so that's definitely hurting their channel too. Heck, I haven't covered much in video games in a long time either. However, we can see, you know, the comments are good. You know, of course it would be Adam Sessler and Frost Kuren that make this video. Uh, less reviews of old games and more meltdowns, please. This is what the people want. I'm not wanted as a viewer, and Adam Sessler says I deserve to not be around and drink the uh, yellow snow. G4, please fire the crazy Karen who had a meltdown, and also Mr. Sessler, however you spell it. Those two are complete. Those two completely ruined your chance of a relaunch so much that your sponsors are backing out and taking away your funding. I I don't know if that's true. Um, you know, here's the thing. Uh, I don't want them fired. I want them right there. I don't want them silenced. I want them saying what they're going to say so that you, the educated, probably beautiful viewer, uh, you know, you can make your viewing decision. I've said this numerous occasions. I want literally everybody to watch my videos. 
The day I start getting, you know, 400 million views a video, then maybe I'll start getting choosy. Probably not, though, because I don't want somebody to not... Like, I consume a lot of content from people that I don't necessarily agree with or align with politically. And I think it helps me understand. You know, and sometimes it helps soften my opinion on things or at least understand the other side. I would never want people to just forcefully put themselves in some echo chamber, as we saw with, um, you know, my conversations with um, the showrunner of the, uh, Netflix is The Witcher. Um, and you can see, like, you see Geeks and Gamers you know, geeks and gamers. I love Jeremy. I don't know if this is a good look. You don't want like your people representing you and then you know, rating videos. But like, again, this is kind of what you give. And I want to be clear. I don't really care about some corporation. G4 TV is not like a group of us, our fellow YouTubers. They're owned by a super huge mega corporation. Uh, is it Comcast or uh, whatever it is? Um, here's an interesting thing, though. If you pull up their Wikipedia, okay, G4 TV, also known uh, or G4, also known as G4 TV, is an American paid television and digital network owned by Comcast. Okay, Comcast, uh, spec Spectacor, that is primarily focused on video games, gaming culture, and being brain dead social justice warriors. <laughs> yes, <coughs> it is real. It is in the Wikipedia page. Now that I've drawn attention to it, it'll probably disappear. But they've even added a section here after the revival, relaunch, programming, notable hosts, current hosts, controversies. During a live episode of X-Play on January 11th, 2022, co-host Indiana Black spoke out against uh, isms, she and other women at G4, and complained that they had experienced since relaunch and that those responding in the comment section. She also cited backlash over not being as attractive as the original G4 hosts. While her speech received praise from some viewers, along with her G4 co-hosts and staff, it was met with plenty of backlash from other viewers who may agree with her claims, but dislike the perceived combative nature Frost delivered to the audience. That's actually well put, right? I, I stand against, and by the way, don't see any comments in here about her being ugly or anything like that. Now, maybe they deleted it. Maybe. Oh, here's one. The Krogan females are at least hookupable, not unlike some of the past G4 hosts. <laughs> I mean, like, that stuff's like, eh, you know, you're proving her right, so to speak. But that is a fair assessment of the controversy. I don't think it's okay that people send her comments like that. Like, I wouldn't even, you know, take you against your will or you're ugly or whatever. That's not okay. It's not okay when you send it to women. It's not okay when you send it to men. I don't. I don't condone it. I don't. I you know. I disavow it completely. It's not productive. And even if you say, "Yeah, well, she deserves it," at least understand the fact that when you do that, you're hurting everybody else. All it takes is two or three uh, of these emails to paint the entire gaming community as terrible things. Right? That's why. Adam Sessler and all these other people could say, oh yeah, gamers are just, they don't like women. Why? Oh, well, because we got three emails from anonymous people. That just means that the other, you know, 300 million gamers out there, they must agree with them. And G4 continues to lose subs. And it's, 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 it's interesting. It's not a ton, but you know, 2K, they lost a K on Wednesday because it was up a K. Then they lost 2K Thursday. Another thousand Friday, another Saturday, another thousand Sunday. I'm actually surprised that the momentum has kept up. Subscribers down 90%. I can't really read this. Why is it so zoomed in? Maybe I could do this. 88%. Subscribers down 88%. Views down 40%. That's probably why their bosses are mad. This outburst could have possibly been completely scripted to try to get some attention. I wouldn't be surprised. Now, will they lose another thousand, 2000 subs today? Maybe, but I'm thinking that it's at least possible. It's at least plausible that they tried to script this entire thing to, uh, try and get some press. It just failed. Yeah. They got a bunch of new Twitter followers, but they can't even tweet because every tweet they put out is just getting crushed. Although, just like all things, people can eventually move on. You know, now Ethan Klein is kind of being the lull cow. So let's see their last tweet. 
not hating, just curious on why G4 has been reviewing games that came out years ago. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't disagree with that. It, you know, it's uh, it's not on, you know, hey, look, these games are 20 years old. You know, there are still people there. And there's not a lot of new games to be reviewing. Um, you know, but you just have, I don't know, Angry Joe is better. That's really the real sin of, oh, you have this. The, it's a Gundam tweet. Gamers are misogynist after tripping and falling and spilling your lunch, you know, and frost. So they're still getting crushed. Adam Sessler wants Republicans to eat something and, and pass away. Your YouTube site stresses your inclusivity, yet your hosts are masking these hateful, intolerant comments. What are you doing about it? Well, if you look at both of their Twitters, Frost Kieran and Adam Sessler, they've been suspiciously quiet about all this. So that does lead, lend some credence to uh, some boss man sending down some like, hey, you guys are already on thin ice because we're hemorrhaging cash. Maybe don't scare away all the subs that we have. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.